Dozens of pictures of family members are scattered across the kitchen table. Grandson and grandmother sort through. Most Alzheimer's patients have been living, have been living so long with Alzheimer's disease that they, they don't even know who they are. So this is great. Because it but Diab and Tecker knows her name. She can recognize herself in pictures, and she knows how old she is. So she's 85 years old now. So it's nice to see she can identify herself. 15-year-old Rahil Talawana's grandmother came to live with his family in Indiana six years ago. The rest of her relatives are still back home in India. So over the phone, she talks to her family members every day, and uh, sometimes she wasn't able to recognize them that as easily. So I thought, you know, use these flashcards. I might help her remember. So next time she went to India, uh, she was able to recognize her family members eas- easily. Dayabin has been suffering from Alzheimer's disease for 15 years. She's in a wheelchair, but she's alert and communicative. And she doesn't display any of the signs of anxiety or agitation that's typical with middle to late stage Alzheimer's. Rahil's mother, Rupal Talawala, says her mother is still unaware of where she is, but that's okay. And I know she, she's still that same mother, loving, caring mother, whom I had it for all my life. And she said, so again, you know, changing the whole story, which is more favorable to her, making her feel comfortable and important. The picture therapy is working. Dayabin is still able to recognize relatives she hasn't seen for years. And she's still able to remember what she's done when she was a child and, you know, able to connect them. The picture, that's one of the reasons Rahi is planning to even now do some clinical trials. That's the plan. Rahil, who is in 10th grade in Fishers, Indiana, modeled an online app for patients with the picture match game called the SnapLink. Rahil is working with IUPUI and advisors from Lilly to determine how to move forward with his research trials. His work scored him an award through the Indianapolis Children's Museum Power of Children program. Where Eli Lilly Alzheimer's senior team advisor, Dr. Anne Marie Hake, says she's been mentoring Rahil. Haig says the puzzle therapy touches the emotional and recognition parts of the brain. And so when you do something more personal, then you get sort of that good, glowy feeling in your heart when you see those pictures. Haig says this isn't a cure. There is no cure. But it's a new tool they hope to make available to everyone. There's not going to be one single thing that's going to be a magic bullet for treating or curing any condition. It would be crazy to try to use just one thing. It would be like going to war with just your Navy. The number of people with Alzheimer's in Indiana is expected to increase 18% by 2025. Currently, about 330,000 caregivers are providing over $4 billion in unpaid care for patients in the state. Rupal believes the work the family has put in with Dayabin is making an impact, and every little bit helps. Assuming that she's in stage five, Assuming she has probably only 10% memory, uh, with this picture therapy and uh, the 10% of the memory is all about the things that matters to her. Those things. Experiences. Life. Family. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Jill Sheridan.